So I got to I got to finally work out with you. That was fun. <laughs> I was at least out the gate trying to go fast, and um, and I <laughs> I knocked myself almost unconscious <laughs> with the barbell because I was going up so fast. And there's this whole thing of having to move your head out of the way, which I just didn't master on like <laughs> uh, number ten, and I I whacked myself pretty good. So, um, but I finished. I finished. But it was really fun. I had a, a really good time working out with the class. But that morning in particular, I think, was a really good awakening for me, you know, getting back into the importance of why just being in this space and sharing that workout space creates such a camaraderie between you guys. And that's why so many of all of the people and members here have such an awesome connection with each other is, um, you know, you're fighting the fight together. Yeah. Like, that's what's fun about it. And so you kind of feel like... At the end of the day, um, those the blood, sweat, and tears are shared, and it's that's why CrossFit's really special. Yeah, you know, you're not you're not supposed to go through life by yourself. You know, you're supposed to have partners in everything that you do, whether it's in a relationship or in work or doing something like this. So when you're doing something strenuous or intense or difficult, particularly something difficult, there there is a bond that's formed there, and I love that about about CrossFit. It's really cool. I remember thinking six months that's that's never gonna that's never gonna come um but i feel like i blinked my eyes and it's it's over it's funny because you know the initially coming here my purpose was i, I just want to do this as something to motivate me to to get in better shape you know now i i feel like i've got i'm working on refining this machine and i want to keep getting better i never thought that i would be amped about lifting weights i was like Lifting weights is just kind of like a means to an end. Like I do it so that I get in better shape. But now it's it is something fun about it where it's challenging and I want to keep getting better. I want to keep improving my body and make it stronger. And that's fun. That's a, that's a fun wrinkle that I, I didn't even anticipate um, happening to me. At the very beginning when you were in this space, I had said there are we're teaching you a lot of tools and skills, but there's going to be so many things that start to resurface that like, I can't even begin to describe to you yet because you don't really even know what they are. I was right out the gate, like super freakish about it. Like a lot of people are about CrossFit who, who love it. And I talked about it and talked about it and talked about it. And then I realized I need to, I need to kind of just take a step back. But what ended up happening is the more video clips we put out, um, the more people started reaching out to me and asking me about it, which was neat. Um, some of those people have, you know, have turned out to be members now, and others haven't. But um, I hope that continues. Coming this photo there. bomber right this here. Photo bomber. It's like she's our kid. <laughs> Good. Hey, mom and dad. Are we there yet? Are we, hey, what do I do? Are we getting ice cream tonight? <laughs> I had asked you at the beginning. Um, I think it was a week two for you to say something to your future self. The thing that I'd want to say to myself after after I get through this six month period is um, I hope you stick with it. I hope I hope that this becomes a lasting part of your life um, because up to this point it's been amazing and I can only I can only see that continuing to grow that feeling that I have about believing in this process and 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 what CrossFit does. Uh, so I just hope that you stick with it and and carry this on, you know long after I'm done with this project. What I would say to myself, um, you know, at the end of this is, uh, just good job, man. You, you did it, because it's, uh, it's tough. This is, this is tough. This is not easy. I was supposed to be here. I was supposed to, I was supposed to do this. Um, and to, to, have, to have gone on this journey and done this with the people that have done it, with has been a lot of fun. I'm glad that I stuck with it. I'm glad that um, I had the courage to make that first step of, of doing this because I know that this has added years to my life. You know, if I hadn't done this, I know I was a, I was a heart attack candidate. <laughs> It's fun to look back and, and watch those videos again, um, but I feel like I feel like I'm a completely different person. It's only been uh, six months on that first segment. I think only three months since the second segment, but I've changed a lot, and um, 
it's been such a fun journey. The, the improvements that I have in my strength and in my overall health and well-being, it's, it's hard to even articulate or describe. Um, it's been an amazing process and people have asked me now that this six month um, documentary series is over, are you gonna keep doing CrossFit? Hell yes, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I love what this has done for my life and I love how it's improved it. I'm, I'm a much better version of myself than I was six months ago and I wanna keep getting better. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna keep staying around, going to Harpoon, and for anyone that's on the fence that wants to start their own fitness journey, come on over. I look forward to meeting you. Fifty Shades of Matt. It's a new movie oh, coming out. That's the, that's the title of this one. <laughs> 50, Fifty Shades of Matt. Oh, God, people are like, you you're in like whoa, I want to take a look at this. Oh, it's just him talking about working out again. I thought it was going to be more... <laughs> More kinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. All right, sweetie. You're the man. Yep. Thanks. Thank you. Boom. Boom. <laughs>